Welcome everybody to the middle of the month. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik for the midweek of April 2019. This is our online echo blog, Your Environment, keeping you updated on local events and also a little bit more about what's going on globally where it comes to recycling and conservation and ecology. All that we'll take a look at coming up here. And again, if you've got local events, we'd love to know more about what you've got going on, where, when, so we can tell everybody else about it and also post it on our environmental blog page, which you you can get to by going to wreg.com slash weather for more. And again, if you've got anything out there you'd like to send to me so I can tell everybody about it here, please do so. And again, you get there by the email address down at the bottom portion of your screen. That's again at austin.onic at wreg.com. Coming up this week, again, we'll take a look at how your clicks at the rainforest site are helping to save rainforest space. Again, keeping our lungs of our planet clean and healthy is very important for life on this world as we have nowhere else to go to. And we're seeing again, the rainforest being destroyed at an ever increasing rate. So we need to set aside rainforest space to make certain all of us can breathe properly. We'll also take a look at air quality here in the Mid-South area, which isn't too bad for right now. But as we approach the summer months, we'll be getting into those doldrum periods where we may see pollution and particularly particulates increase and we'll take a look at plastics. There's entirely too much of it out there and a lot of it winds up unfortunately in the oceans and there's a lot of it out there that's causing a lot of problems but more importantly what can you do and what can I do to help out on things like that? Well we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for more and we'll take a look coming up here in just a little bit. Right now again taking a look at our webpage wreg.com slash weather slash environment where again all of our our local blog posts are kept and other weather information regarding for Mid-South purposes and again announcements about cleanups or again anything in the way of environmental efforts which again involve legislation. We'll bring you more about that on there as well so stay tuned for more on that. Coming up we'll take a look and again good news we're starting to see a lot more increases in the amount of clicks to the rainforest site and a decent amount over the last several days and weeks at least since last week anyway and don't forget about Earth Day coming up in about a week or so next Monday April 22nd is Earth Earth Day, so we'll talk more about that here in just a little while. Air quality in the Mid-South looking pretty good as we had a decent storm system sweep through the area this weekend. And so Sunday night into Monday, things are again looking pretty good out there without too much of any major problems. Seeing again green across the board for Sunday and into Monday. Beyond that, you can take a look at airnow.gov to get information from the Environmental Protection Agency. You can also get more information again available uh, from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. You can find that all again by searching your particular location at airnow.gov. So a lot more to talk about there. Pollen, on the other hand, not great news for those of you who are suffering from that, including yours truly, as we see some pretty good amounts of pollen coming up in the course of the next couple of days, including maxed out at the highest levels as those trees continue to go into overdrive keeping again things going on there. This particular chart from pollen.com, so you can follow along with that. This information that you see here, also again available at our website through our weather section of wreg.com. So if you'd like to see more about what goes on there, good opportunity to take a look and see what's happening that may be irritating your nose out there. Taking a look at the oceans, they're decently far away from the Mid-South. Again, the closest the oceans get to us here in the area are around the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico or the East Coast. But the problem is the ocean has become our dumping ground for a ton of plastic. Matter of fact, numerous tons of plastic out there, including five ginormous gyres of plastic that just sit in the ocean swirling around as the currents of the ocean make their way around a particular location. The garbage that floats around those areas does a good job of collecting in huge areas. And those areas are unfortunately growing and continuing to cause problems with wildlife in the ocean and quite possibly with the food web as well. They are increasing in size and groups like the Ocean Cleanup and several other groups are doing their best 
to not only spread the word about what's going on with ocean garbage and where it comes from, and more importantly, what we need to do about it, about the fact that eventually it's going to get so bad that we may lose many more species, and that could again affect the food web out there in the ocean, which could affect us on land very, very easily. So taking a look at all the stuff that humans throw away is a very important part of what goes on out there, especially now that the garbage patch in the Pacific is three times the size of the country of France, and it's growing because of all the garbage that is out there. Used to be that countries like China would buy garbage, especially plastic throwaways from the United States. They're no longer doing that, so a lot of places that were getting rid of their plastic garbage now have no other place to go to for recycling purposes and are not prepared for recycling the plastic. So what do they do? Well, they throw it away. And unfortunately, that has an opportunity to go right into the ocean sometimes. And this is where you step in. You can go to places like 5gyres.org. That's the number five. And again, G-Y-R-E-S for the gyres of garbage floating out there in the Pacific and all over the place. As the oceans continue to fill up with plastic, it's going to degrade ocean water quality and causing problems again for overfished areas. So now's the time, past time actually, to start thinking about what we can do to fix things like this. So the National Ocean Service under the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration studies a lot of things like this, especially about ocean ebb and flow and plastics are all over the place and the concentration is getting worse. Unfortunately, it's helping to, again, cause problems with wildlife out there. Oceansunite.org, a good place to go to to find out more about not only what the problem is with plastic and how much we use it every single day and how much we throw away, how you can get involved by talking the issue up to your friends, your colleagues, your business partners, whoever else is out there, and most importantly, talking to people like your congressional representatives, anybody in the legislature who has information about that. PlasticOceans.org, a good place to go to for learning how to, to discuss things like this and bringing up the issues to people who think it's not a great deal of a problem, to say that it is a problem and it is affecting us already in the price of seafood and also our clean water. It's having an effect on our planet. You may not live near the ocean, but it is doing a good job of affecting you nonetheless. National Geographic doing, again, mo multiple photo studies in things like drift netting and all kinds of things that are wasted just by letting it sink to the bottom. There's even trash being discovered in places like the Mariana Trench, deepest part of the ocean on Earth, and that's a very sad discovery to take a look at. So again, getting involved in things like the garbage that is out there and what we can do about it. There's many places you can go to. The Center for Biological Diversity, Oceana, is a very good place to go to for more information. That's Oceana.org for more information there. And again, you need to be able to get involved in this. It's a great opportunity to speak up and to say that you want to help out the planet, if at all possible. World Oceans Day is coming up on Saturday, June 8th. It's a good opportunity to learn more about what's going on with the oceans and how you can help get, get and keep them clean. And again, that's going to be June 8th. If you'd like to know more about what goes on and how you can get involved, worldoceanday.org, including cleanups. You don't have to be near the ocean to clean things up. You can be on the Mississippi River or on the Coldwater River or wherever you are to help get things cleaned up. It's all up to us to help out on things like that. Wolf River org, Wolf the Wolf River Conservancy has many things going on, including cleanups for Earth Day and also, again, cleaning up the Wolf River Harbor and many other opportunities. And again, that's available at wolfriver.org. Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation at tn.gov for more information about what the state and local level is doing for both education and cleanup efforts. CleanMemphis.org, also a good place to go to to find out about neighborhood cleanups. So a good opportunity to check out more there. And of course, don't forget about Earth Day. That's going to be coming up here in next Monday, the 22nd. So get ready for that and a good opportunity to learn more about how you can help protect the planet by keeping things clean. All right, all you have to do is go to, again, this site and click this button. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And as those ads come up, you're going to be seeing again right there, that's us helping to pay for sections of the rainforest to be set aside as the sponsors 
pay for the site by just our viewing those ads right there. That's as much as it takes, and that's great news. How much are we saving on there? Well, so far for January through April, 5.5 million clicks and over 2,700 acres of rainforest land has been saved so far. So definitely some good news on that for right now. We'll have a special edition of Earth Day. Looking forward to that coming up next Sunday and throughout the rest of next week as well. Once again, remember if you've got anything out there in the way of events coming up that we can tell people about, please let us know. Drop us the information again to my email site at austin.onic at wrig.com. That's our update for the week of April 14th. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of News Channel 3's Your Environment.